pioneering thing about Future Earth is, it is attempting to bring together social scientists and natural scientists to answer the compelling human questions of the day. Uh, while natural scientists and earth scientists have always attempted to answer questions through research uh, about what's happening to the planet, this is the first time that we were going to co be going to co-design and co-produce research uh, in order to, to fast track in a way solutions uh, around uh, the use of earth's resources and the boundaries that we have reached on, on the earth system. Future Earth seeks to be very different from the current existing programs and the main issue is that how do you co-create and co-design and part of the co-design would necessarily have to involve the user and the end beneficiaries of the knowledge that would be generated through the various activities of Future Earth and in that sense uh, it has to be responsive not only to existing questions but also provide I, my sense a platform for others to raise new questions that need to be answered by science in the future. And so uh, research as a uh, platform for generating new knowledge, new information, but also as providing a platform for knowledge sharing means that Future Earth has a very important role to play. Future Earth is really important to the international development agenda because global environmental change has enormous implications for human security and for people's access to food, water, shelter, um, their basic human needs. And in many ways, a lot of the development work that is going on isn't taking into account the rate, magnitude, and extent of environmental changes that is going on. And um, so what we need is not only to inform the international development agenda, but also to perhaps transform it. You can only affect international development by engaging with the people who are affecting those processes, but also people at local levels, at institutional levels, in communities. And that's where social science comes into play. So for Future Earth, it's integrated the natural and physical sciences into operations or levels with communities and individuals in places where things really happen, where development will really take place, where differences occur to people on the ground. And that is a loop then that closes back around, hopefully, to improving our, our capacity to live in the changing environment and to increase sustainability in terms of environmental sustainability.